My name is Bill Hitt. Uh, I'm going to do a monologue from And Then There Were None. And I'm going to do the part of General McKenzie. I loved her very much. Of course, I was a lot older than she was. She was only 27, you know. Arthur Richmond was 26. He was my ADC. As they liked him, they used to talk of music and plays together, and she teased him and made fun of him. I was pleased. I thought she took a motherly interest in the boy. Damn fool, wasn't I? No fool like an old fool. Exactly like a book, the way I found out. When I was out in France, she wrote to the both of us and put the letters in the wrong envelopes. So I knew. Oh, it's all right, my dear. It was a long time ago. But you see, I loved her very much and believed in her. I never said anything to him. I let it gather inside here. A slow, murderous rage. Damn young hypocrite. I'd like the boy, trusted him. I sent him to his death. Though it was quite easy. Mistakes were being made all the time. All anyone could say was I'd lost my nerve a bit. Made a blunder. Sacrificed one of my best men. Though it was quite easy. Leslie never knew. I never told her I'd found out. We went down as usual, but somehow nothing was quite real anymore. She died of pneumonia. She had a heart-shaped face and gray eyes and brown hair that curled. Yes? I suppose, in a way, it was murder. Curious murder. I'd always been such a law-abiding man. It didn't feel that way at the time. So him damn well right, that's what I thought. But after... Well... You know, don't you? You don't seem to understand. I thought you would. And I thought you'd be glad too that the end was coming. We're all going to die, you know.